What's going on guys? Today I wanna to talk about something that has been brought up a lot in my comment section, and that is the best tips to building a resume. Building resumes really is not something that we're usually taught. So it's like, when it comes to that point, it's like, what do you do? How do you do it? What are the best ways to do it? And you just kind of feel lost. I'm right there with you. I've been there. And that's why I wanna give you some insight. Now, I've teamed up with Beam Jobs and I thought this would be a great opportunity because I want to do a video for the best ways to build your resume. And at the same time, they have a great product that can help you with these tips that I'm about to share with you. So it works perfectly and you guys are able to get good knowledge and great tools at the same time. So the first thing is going to be the presentation. You may not know this, but a manager is only going to look at your resume for 30 to 40 seconds and it's going to be a quick, brief look through. So you want to make sure that it's clean. And I'm going to say this multiple times throughout this video. I already know it. Make sure that it's clean and that it looks neat because you need something that's going to pop out and not look disorganized. So the first rule is to make sure your presentation is nice. Now, Beam Jobs, they have templates that you can use and you can pick out whichever templates you want to use to make it look beautiful. Now, I use templates myself. A lot of people in the industry use templates. This way your margins are right, your fonts right, you don't have to worry about spacing. It's just plug and play and you have a beautiful resume when you're done. Now, next is going to be keywords. Before the hiring manager gets your resume, a lot of companies use automated services to sift through resumes and pull out the resumes that match their criteria and they use keywords. So go on to Indeed, go on to LinkedIn, find the job descriptions and start looking for common keywords. You can Google it as well. This way, when your resume comes up in the system, it finds all of these keywords and it pulls your resume to go to the hiring managers. Now, the next thing, have your resume looked over. You want people to give you tips on how you can improve your resume, whether that be your professor, your friends, or in the case of Beam Jobs, they do it right there for you. So maybe you're an introvert. You're like, I don't want to have friends or, you know, bosses or people at school looking over my resume. This is a great opportunity for you because you can go right online and get it done on Beam Jobs and they'll give you tips there on how to improve it. Now, the next thing, remove the old jobs. I don't know why that we were taught to put all of your jobs on your resume. Do not do that. If you were working as a gas attendant, the person hiring you for a network engineer job has no transferable skills that can apply to that position. It doesn't need to be on there. Now, if you worked at a computer shop, yes, put that on there. You have some familiarity with computers, then throw it on there. But don't fluff your application up. You want it clean, right? Remember I told you I was gonna say that again. I know I would. You want your resume clean that adds clutter to it and it's not useful information for a company. Now, when it comes to actually building out your resume, Beam Job does a cool thing where they give you AI bullets of key points in your experience that you should be putting on your resume. This is, gives you a good opportunity to get some insight of what other people think may put you of some value. It's hard to look at yourself as valuable sometimes when you're fresh out of school, but you still are. And these tools can point out, hey, you got this skill, put this in your resume. Cover letters. Why? Are they still doing cover letters? I don't know. But what Beam Jobs will auto generate it for you so that you can throw it on with your resume once your resume is all done. Now, I want to go over top to bottom how your resume should look in my personal humble opinion. To start off at the top, put your name and what you hope your profession to be. Underneath of that, two to three sentences explaining what you would like from your career in the next five years. Do not put a paragraph. They're not going to read a whole paragraph. Two to three sentences. After that, if you have work experience, put the work experience down. If it's relevant to the position and the industry, Put it there first. If you don't have that, put your education, put your start and end date, what you majored in, your GPA, if it was good, not if it was bad. And then after that, you're going to want to put hard skills and soft skills. Hard skills, for instance, being networking or, you know, Microsoft or, you know, 
uh, programming, coding, whatever it may be, soft skills, you know, motivated, outgoing, hard worker. Next, any certifications that you've got and any clubs that you've been a part of. This is going to go at the bottom of your resume. And after that, you're done. Not two pages, not three pages, one page, you're done clean and to the point use a template use a template from beam jobs they have tons of them i looked at it already if you want to use them i'll put the link in this video and i'll put it in the description down below all right guys so i wanted to show you real quick on how you can use beam jobs to create your new resume so you're going to go into your profile once you create one click on create a new resume pick one of the templates we'll use classic for this example now here you can even do things like import your LinkedIn profile, which is pretty cool to do. It can throw all of your information right into the template. But for this example, we'll do choose an industry example. So here you can simply type a security analyst. If this is what you're looking for, you can do a network engineer, penetration tester, so on and so forth. So let's click view resume and use the resume. This is where you can take all of your information and apply it and put it into this template so that you have a beautiful resume coming out of this. You simply click in here and we'll just put CyberTom. Why not, right? And then when you're finished with it, after you have clicked your fonts and your spacing and your color and made it exactly how you want, you'll get your resume score here. And we have a 93, so that's good for us. Next, we can either copy it or we can download it. Now, once you download it, you'll be able to upload it to any site that you need to use it for, um, and you'll be good to go, guys. So this is a brief example of how to use the Beam Jobs resume. I'm trying to give you guys tools to set yourselves apart. You want to be different than the competition. That's how you're going to get a position. If you enjoyed the video and you're new here, stick around hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so you'll know when i post all my newest videos i have a lot more content coming your way guys and comment down below if there's something you want clarification on i'd be more than happy to help you good luck and make the best resume you possibly can see you guys in the next video